Sunshine made a big difference today, along with a west wind coming down off the mountains, helped to warm us up quite a bit above the normals for this time of year. Hit 54 at BWI Marshall, 9 degrees above the normal high of 45. Tomorrow, that normal slips down to 44 degrees as we're inching closer into the coldest time of the year. Low so far, 36 degrees. That, too, is quite a bit above normal. Record low, 5. So some single-digit record lows now showing up in the Almanac. Temperatures around the Beltway at this hour in the low 40s. 42 at Pikesville, 45 at Edgewood, 45 degrees at Chestertown this hour. Westbound into the mountains. They've had a couple flurries at times, especially up in parts of Pennsylvania, downwind to the Great Lakes. And it's quite a bit cooler out there. 27 at Oakland, 31 at Frostburg. 32 degrees over at Elkins, West Virginia. So up in the mountains, a little more wintry around here, fairly tolerable. And the closest precipitation we can see are really those snow showers near the lakes or up into upstate New York, parts of the Poconos picking up some rain and snow showers. And as you can see, just a hint of a few flurries out west of us into Pennsylvania and western Maryland. So around here, mostly clear skies tonight. Kind of a pleasant December evening. The normal low is 27. We'll probably end up a degree or two above that for most areas. Still a little on the breezy side with a west wind at 6 to 12 miles an hour for most of this night. There is a weather system in the southern plains we're kind of nervously watching here. A lot of rain and snow developing with this across Kansas into Oklahoma, showers down into Texas, and it is kind of headed east, although most of the computer models are indicating it's going to weaken dramatically, and all we'll really see are some clouds as it passes just to the south of us during the day tomorrow. But it's worth watching tonight, tomorrow morning, see if it holds together as it makes its track. A little more important for us, uh, the stormy weather coming in off the Pacific now, and part of the energy with this one coming into Southern California may end up being a storm near us over the upcoming weekend. And then there's a stronger one sitting out over the Pacific as well. So lots of stormy weather crossing the Pacific that could end up being bigger storms as they make their way across the uh, North American continent toward the eastern United States over the course of the next week or two, actually. It should be a fairly active weather pattern. Tomorrow, though, just sun and clouds mixed. Temperatures on the chilly side. Same thing on Friday. Sunshine for most of the day. A few fair weather clouds at times. And then look to the south on Saturday. This uh, weekend storm is weakening a bit and staying farther south of us. So while we still just see cloud cover on the computer models here at Saturday, 1 o'clock, there is a hint of some rain in the mountains of West Virginia. And so later Saturday night can't completely rule out a passing flurry or snow shower. But again, it looks weaker and farther south uh, than it's looked the past several days. Partly cloudy for the day tomorrow. Highs just 40 to 45, but that's pretty much in the normal range. And still breezy, west winds at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Western Maryland Mountains, a few more clouds out there. And I'd say there's even a slight chance of a flurry or two. And then on Friday, partly cloudy and a chilly 29 degrees. Eastern shore locations, some sun tomorrow. Gusty winds, 43, 44 degrees on Friday. And along the coast, including Ocean City, enjoy the sunshine. But it'll be chilly. Highs only in the low to mid 40s. Seven-day forecast, 43 tomorrow. Low 40s Friday with some sun. Saturday, we're going to ratchet it down to just a 30% chance now. Some light snow or flurries, mainly south of Baltimore Saturday evening. Partly cloudy skies Sunday. Bigger storm developing toward the middle of next week. Right now, it looks like it'll be warm enough for showers or even a thunderstorm during the first part of Christmas Eve day. But it'll turn colder Christmas Eve night into Christmas, and some of that could end up being snow, too. So we'll watch that system closely.